In our previous video, we talked about the deoxyribonucleic acid molecule, which is the DNA molecule. We say that each and every nucle nucleic acid is uh, built by a monomer called nucleotides. Remember that we said our nucleotides contain a phosphate group, they contain a type of a sugar, and then they contain a nitrogenous base. In DNA, we said we had got, uh, we have uh, nitrogenous bases, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. But then today we're talking about ribonucleic acid, which is also another type of a nucleic acid. So a, nuclear, a ribonucleic acid is also built by nucleotides as its monomer. So it means we have got a chain of nucleotides connected together. But then the difference here with DNA, it is because the, uh, the, nu the, the nitrogenous bases which you find on RNA nucleotides are different from those on DNA nucleotides. Indeed, the nitrogenous bases may be a bit common because in RNA we, RNA, we also have got adenine, we also have got uh, cytosine, we also have got guanine. But at number four, it is different. Remember that in a DNA molecule, we said we had got adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. But then in this case, we do not have thymine when we have got an RNA nucleotide. So thymine instead is re replaced with an nitrogenous base code, uracil. So here we don't go with nitrogenous base pairs when we have got RNA. At least for now, we don't go with nitrogenous base pairs. It is because RNA has got only one strand. Remember, we say that a strand is made of polynucleotides, meaning that we're having nucleotides lying together. So we have got, let's say this is your phosphate, and then this is your sugar here, and then we have got your adenine there. We're not going to connect any other nitrogenous bases to this adenine. It is because RNA has got only one strand, meaning that we do not have any weak hydrogen bonds compared to the DNA molecule. So here, it is just simply nucleotides connected together. And then here, let's say, um, let me just make something like this. And then let's say this contains uracil. So you can see that we're having different types of nucleotides containing different types of nitrogenous, ba nitrogenous bases. So here we can have something like cytosine. And then here, lastly, I will have something like uh, Guanine. So you can see here that we are having only nucleotides connected to make a strand. So we say RNA is single-stranded by that it means it's got only one chain of polynucleotides. Remember a strand, we refer it to as a strand when you've got a chain of polynucleotides connected together. But then in this case, compared to the DNA molecule, we had hydrogen bonds connecting another strand. But then in this case, this is RNA, we do not have any other strands except this one strand. So here uh, the, you can see that the difference here, the nitrogenous base here is uracil while in DNA it has to be thymine. So the difference between DNA and RNA uh, in terms of the nitrogenous bases is uh, DNA has got um, thymine but then RNA has got Uracil. So this is the basic structure of RNA. So also remember that we say that the type of sugar that is found here when it comes to DNA it is deoxyribose sugar. But then in this case, this is RNA, we use ribose sugar. So what I can tell you is that uh, we have different type of nucleotides. We have got the RNA nucleotides, given that one of them contains uracil and has got what? Has got ribose sugar. So it means that here we're not going to find any uh, DNA nucleotides because they contain deoxyribose sugar. But then in this case, this is RNA, they contain ribose sugar. So we have got three types of RNA. We have got mRNA, we have got rRNA, and then we have got lastly, tRNA. So this is messenger RNA in full, and then this is a ribosomal. tRNA is transfer RNA. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.